the one point that I am trying to make here is that with the different pieces and the different actions and the different coach and all that stuff, the Embiid Simmons thing still looks stupid. Right. All right, first thing, Philadelphia, Toronto last night. Toronto, a couple games in, but just a couple things that I'm noticing here. Uh, Philly's 3-1. and one. Their loss, that, that Cavs loss, where Embiid sat. By the way, how about this number? With Embiid, since he's been with the Sixers, uh, the Sixers won 61% of their games. Without him, uh, they've won only 40% of their games. But when I wrote that note down from the broadcast, I thought, wait, are they including all the, the games when he didn't play, like the first two years? Is that what's going to happen here? Because that might be a little little misleading because those teams weren't really good and they were trying to tank anyway. So, I don't know. Whatever. Do whatever you want with that number. Maybe you don't make a shirt out of it, but it exists. So, there you go. So, Philly wins this one, again, against a Toronto team that defensively is not getting it done. It's a bad matchup for Toronto, um, even though they were leading the entire game and then Philly came on late. Tobias Harris actually had a decent game. There's just going to be nights where you know he reminds you why he gets paid. But then there's other nights where he's going to remind you of why he's been on a million different teams that didn't want to pay him. But there's one thing. There's one specific thing from this game that I want to point out. And that is, even with the new pieces, the Danny Green, Seth Curry, um, trying to figure out this, this Ben Simmons deal, Dwight Howard, which I, I love seeing him get a couple post touches that didn't work out. And I'm like, wait, does Dwight? Is Dwight going to be a little more Dwight in Philly than he was in L.A.? Because there's not an older LeBron to be like, hey, he was just not going to do that here. All right. Because Dwight was really good for the Lakers. It wasn't an issue. You know, he caught his lobs. He worked uh, at times. But I could see a version of him in Philly where it's like, you know, like a few more touches. He'd be like, hey, Dwight, that's why your whole career went into a weird jazz odyssey in the first place. Because you wanted to actually be a closing player, getting all these closing possessions in the post. And you're not that good at it. So the one point that I am trying to make here is that with the different pieces and the different actions and the different coach and all that stuff, the Embiid Simmons thing still looks stupid. It just does. And you can see what they're doing. Like I was tracking the plays last night. They'll run some action where Simmons like is pretend in the play <laughs> where he'll bring the ball up and he'll, he'll, you know, get it to somebody. And then that starts the real play. And then Embiid runs off to the corner or excuse me, Simmons runs off to the corner. A lot of it was two man stuff with Embiid. Um, I saw this in the Washington game where it was some two man stuff with Shake Milton, some two man stuff with Seth Curry. There was one play where it ended up with Simmons and Embiid, and it was a Curry three, but it really wasn't anything to do with anything that Simmons and Embiid did. And so, unfortunately, Sixers fans, it can look different, but it isn't. It, it, it's it's trying to look different with the Simmons and Embiid thing, but I'm closing major possessions. So I don't care about the regular season. I don't care about any of this stuff. For the expectations that the Sixers have on offense and watching, to have Simmons run to the corner, it looks a lot like the other stuff. It just does, because you can't really run pick and roll with he and Embiid. You just can't. So it worked. It worked. And Toronto not having a big. I mean, Alex Len's not very good. Um, Baines is, is better than him, obviously. But you know, Toronto, we'll see. But I, I think we all were kind of like, hey, what's Doc going to do? How, how is this going to look different? There's some things where Simmons is kind of in the play, but he isn't really. And when it was really closing time, even though they got that Curry three off of it, it wasn't because of some amazing Simmons Embiid action. But I, look, they're still trying to figure this thing out. By the way, how about this number? With Embiid, since he's been with the Sixers, uh, the Sixers won 61% of their games without him. Uh, they've won only 40% of their games. So, I don't know. Whatever. Do whatever you want with that number. Maybe you don't make a shirt out of it. 